Today's reading is Red Oni, an entry from the Monster Encyclopedia book series. A kind of ogre called Oni that only inhabits the Zimpangu region. Distinguished by the horns growing from their forehead and, as in the name suggests, their bright red skin. Because of their superhuman strength, which lets them wield a huge metal rod with ease, the people of the surrounding area fear them as monsters. However, by no means are they ferocious. Although their speech and conduct are rough, they are big-hearted and good-natured monsters that don't fret over minor details. They pay no heed whatsoever to the fact that humans fear them, and sometimes they are even pleased to receive men and sake as sacrificial offerings without even doing anything. Their most favorite things are men and sake, and they are always drinking a lot. They're always drunk, which stains their red faces even redder. On rare occasions, they head to villages to acquire more sake and human men that catch their interest to bring back with them to their various dwellings. They'll sip sake together with the men that they brought inside with them. After boozing it up and thoroughly enjoying themselves, they'll violently push over a man and enjoy violating him thoroughly, as if he were a snack to go along with the drinks. And then, after copulating wildly again and again until they are satisfied, they once again resume drinking. According to them, it seems the sake they drink after getting refreshed by doing it with a man tastes several times better than usual. There is actually more to it than just their mood. The manner they take in from a man is said to enhance the deliciousness of sake, where it is the manner of a man they recognize as their husband that would make it even more exceptional. They are feared because it is said that the men kidnapped are devoured and they definitely are devoured in a certain strange sense. Men that strike their fancy will be made their husbands and will never be released by them again. These men will enjoy a feast of sake and flesh with them every single day. Other than that, men may also be brought along to drinking parties held by various Zimpangu monsters who are also fond of drinking. At these parties, a man will be treated as the snack to go along with the drinks by the monsters gathered and he will be ravished by them one after another. Whichever of the monsters takes a liking to him will be brought home with her, and he will be made her husband. For that reason, most of the men kidnapped by the Red Oni will never return to their villages, and it is no wonder that they are feared and such rumors are going around. Additionally, among these Oni, there are also said to be Oni of various colors, each having different traits, such as the Blue Oni.